Hi guys, welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. Today I am going to show you how I made this pretty bow using ribbon from Dollar General. And their ribbon is only $2 and it's 2.5 inch width and it does have wire. I chose two colors of ribbon, but you don't have to. You can use one color if you prefer. You will want to use ribbon with wire for this bow. So you will need your scissors, some ribbon with wire, either floral wire or a pipe cleaner to tie off your bow when you get it ready. First, you're going to take your ribbon and I am measuring mine into strips at 23 inches. I cut seven strips of ribbon at 23 inches. Now, if you're wanting a bigger bow, I would cut nine strips. Also, if you are wanting longer tails, cut your ribbon at maybe 36 inches, just depending on how long you want your tails. To dovetail the ends of your ribbon, take your ribbon, fold it in half with the edges to the left side, go to the folded side and cut away from the fold, and that makes the beautiful V on the end, and it just kind of dresses up your bow. So I cut three of the buffalo plaid print ribbon and four with a little brown truck. Next, you're going to take your ribbon and I am measuring mine so that I have a six inch loop. So from the folded edge, I'm measuring to six inches. And then when I gather it together, I want to leave about two inches below my fingers so that when I add the pipe cleaner or wire that the loop will not pull out. You will repeat the same process with all seven strips of ribbon. So take your strip of ribbon, fold it, and you'll want to measure down six inches, but leave a couple inches below that, so make it just a little longer, so that when you pinch it together, you have about an inch and a half or two inches below your fingers, and just continue. And I'm alternating colors since I'm using two colors. And just stack your loops right one on top of the other. When you cut your strips of ribbon at 23 inches, you don't have a really long tail. So if you're looking for longer tails, just make sure you cut it longer than 23 inches. Just continue the same process for the folded side, measure down six inches, pinch it together, but don't forget to leave that little bit of extra. Once you have all seven loops made, you're either going to take some floral wire or a pipe cleaner, go just above your thumb, and twist that pipe cleaner as tight as you can around the ribbon. Next, you're going to take your tails and you're going to separate them and try to put them, spread them out so that you don't have two of the same colors together and just spread it out so that there's some on each side. And after you have your tails sorted and also sometimes you may have to flip them over if the um, wrong side's facing up. Then after you have your tail sorted, you're ready to fluff your loops of your bow. So it takes a little while to shape your bow, so just be patient. Make sure you put your hand in each loop so that you fluff it and just continue playing with the loops until you get the bow the shape you want. And that's it, it's finished. A couple of days ago, I uploaded another beautiful bow tutorial for you and I did it a little bit different so I'm going to link that tutorial for you in the description box below so just click that link if you haven't seen it already. Just remember that it's very important to make your loops all the same size. That's the key to having a beautiful bow. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And let me know what you think of this fall ribbon from Dollar General.